Hi guys! So, as I said in one of my last vlogs, I was going to do some kind of sit down video, and well, that is happening right now. So, yeah, this is not a vlog. You should be surprised. I think I'm going to do, well, and now I'm going to do my February favourites, even though it's the 5th of March, so it's slightly la late, so I apologise for that. But, you know, it's still important to me, and I feel like you guys should know what my February favourites were. So, going on to the video, the first thing is this Wild Berry Lip Balm. Um, I got it off my mum, it's from Marks and Spencers. And because I've been ill recently, it's really helped my lips and around my lip area so it doesn't go so dry. So I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird, but if you've seen my vlogs, you know that I have been ill. So yeah, that's the reason. Um, it's quite a nice like pinky purpley colour. And even with a cold, you can smell it. And it smells so nice. And like... It doesn't taste funny on your lips, but it smell like it just smells really nice. So you'd think it tasted funny, but it doesn't at all. So I recommend it very much, and I like to smell it a lot. But carrying on with the whole, I've been ill. Um, I wanted to incorporate my nasal inhaler um, because this may seem really weird, but I've never really thought like anything about them I haven't thought that like they were so special thought they w didn't really do anything so I went to B&M and I saw one and it came with a little pot of uh, vapor rub as well and it was 99p and I thought oh it's like really cheap so it's not going to be that good and honestly it's saved my life I think that's the word for it it's saved my life so yeah and it's helped my cold so much I've so it's just like yes and then the vapor rubs really helped with my throat so and I've put it on my chest quite a bit the next thing is my body shop hand cream I can't go a day or like an hour or two without applying a like small amount of hand cream and this is the frosted cam cranberry one and it's the Christmas special and it's sold, well it's like sold out but they don't do it because it's not Christmas anymore. But I got one for Christmas and I didn't know that mum had stocked up with them. So I was like, oh I need to go get another hand cream. She was like, oh I've got loads here. And I was like, no I need the body shop one. And she was like, yes I've got the frosted cranberry one. And I was like, oh my god, like thank you mum. So I got that in February. So that's why it's a favourite and I just love hand cream and it smells so good. I recommend it even though they don't sell it but I recommend it in Christmas and I recommend the strawberry and pomegranate one I think it is. What they do all year round. So yeah, that's great. The next thing is my new powder. Mum came home with it the other day and was like oh I got your new powder. And I was like, oh, that's great, because I'm running out. And it wasn't the one I normally have. But this is Maybelline New York New Matte Maker Mattifying Powder in the shade 10 Classic Ivory. Um, it was like 2 dollars I think she said. But the only problem is it doesn't stick very well. That's the powder. That's the base. Um... Every kind of review I've seen on this powder, everyone has said when they've had it that it's just fell apart straight away. So I guess that's why it's 2 dollars but it is still really good and it has a good coverage. And when you get it, first of all, the lid is so hard to get off. I tried, my friend tried, my mum tried, and it took my dad to get it off for me and he still had to try quite hard but I do recommend it if you like a very good mattifying coverage powder. The next thing is my eyelashes. So I actually got these a few days ago. Um, a few days ago when I mean like 
literally like two days before like March so brill just fit in and I haven't actually worn them yet this is the first time I've worn them and I really like them I've never been a fake eyelashes girl I never have been and then I saw them and I was like oh they are so cheap might get some might actually look like a girl for once whacked them on and now I'm just pictures 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 because I look like a girl don't sound like a girl but I look like a girl and I I never thought that eyelashes fake eyelashes could complete a makeup look but I've made made my decision that I love them um, and they are the sultry lashes from Primark oh Primark lashes ah. yeah but if you've never had Primark well if you've never had lashes before this is why you start off with Primark ones and then you can always progress and they were a pound that's why they're cheap um, and you get a little glue with them as well which is quite good but if you're gonna wear them longer than like a couple of hours I would get a stronger and more like better glue because this glue would not last without like topping it up every like two hours so yeah and the other thing from Primark is new earrings that I bought at the same time and have only worn one pair which I've got in at the moment and these are the earrings they're quite cute they're quite different from what I had but and they were two pounds but because I haven't recently de-stretched my ear, I can now wear earrings, which I like quite a lot. So I thought, oh, they, they're quite nice. I like the ones I've got in and, um, well, all of them really. And I've also put one of the ball ones in there because I have a random piercing. Don't ask me why. It was the spirit of the moment and I just went for it. So, yeah. And my very, no, oh, second to last is this hairbrush, excuse all the hair on it, please ignore that. Um, this is also from B&M, and it, you can use it in the shower and on dry hair, but like I always brush my hair in the shower, but I didn't use this brush before. And um, yeah, and it's brilliant because my old brush used to pull my hair out with it, but this one is so, it just goes th through so nicely. And I think this was like $1.99 from B&M, so I recommend this as well. And they have different colours, but I like purple, so I went for purple. Okay guys, so I'm sorry if the last clip and this clip have suddenly just jumped and the background and the angle has slightly changed, but my phone died so it cut off. But I wanted to show you my last February favourites, which is this candle which is a smoothies raspberry supreme candle and it looks like this it's got bits of gl gold glitter and it's pink and yeah it smells oh, I, I don't even know it just smells so good I can't even handle it but my friend has one of these and she's had it for a year and a half around about I think and I asked her where she got it from she didn't have a clue because it's like a year and a half old and her mum got it so I went to Worcester a few weeks ago and I went in this little like knick-knacky old fashion shop and they were in there and they were nine pounds each yes I know you're thinking expensive but not expensive not as expensive as Yankee candles and honestly I would say these smell better <sighs> It just smells so good. I can't get over the smell of it. I used to have the lid on it all the time. So, like, I don't know that I'd save it, kind of. But when I took the lid off once, the smell just went round the room and it wasn't even lit. So, anyone with candles, I recommend you to take the lids off them. Even if you don't want them to, like, be lit, the smell will still go around your room and make your room smell really nice and i definitely recommend the raspberry supreme smoothies um it is my favorite one so yeah but that is all my february favorites done i hope you've liked this video i'm sorry if it's quite long um, and i'm sorry that i've been just i'm sorry that 
I'm sorry that I've been just like talking, 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 and I'm sorry about that dog barking. Oh my days. But I really hope you've enjoyed. Uh, leave your comments below which were your favourites out of my February favourites and your fa February favourites. I would love to know. So don't forget to like and comment as I said and if you aren't subscribed already hit the subscribe button because there will be more videos like this and more vlogs to come. And I will see you soon for a vlog or another video. Bye!